Hey, girly voice. Um, you're talking about uh, self-deception, and uh, I think that's pretty interesting. Because I'm, uh, I often look for ways in my life... Uh, I can't... I wish I could remember the event, but kind of the event was hard to remember as it happened. Uh, when I was in my late teens, I realized I was deceiving myself about something. Um, it just kind of like struck me like, oh my gosh, like I'm completely editing out the truth um, in a way that allows me to uh, function or doing something, you know, to behave in a way that uh, I want to behave rather than in a way that I should behave because of the truth. Um, and I thought, ah, oh, you know, later I should do something about that. And then when I came time to do something about that, I had the hardest time to bring my mind back to where it was, to where I realized uh, where I'd kind of misplaced the truth. I had like a mental block. And uh, I was able to break through it. And then it kind of gave me a feeling of, well, what else kind of, what else am I self-deceiving myself about? What other, um, what other fallacy do I believe as a truth in order to, uh, you know, my life could be more smooth or... Um, Maybe I want people to uh, to treat me a certain way, so I'll I'll kind of let them know that that's what I want, and I'll let them know how important that is by by behaving a certain way. Um, by you know, rather than being that person, um, you know, th you know, this I'm going to be like the uh, the guy with the money, or uh, I'm really good with tools, or just whatever I want to be seen as. Um, it's not true. But I really want it to be true, and I really want people to kind of like be a part of, of my self-deception. Um, and I think, uh, I'm, I, I think this one guy I met, uh, I kind of think of him as a Suron. Um, that might be the, the wrong pronunciation. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the evil guy in the Lord of the Rings that had made the, uh, the, the One Ring. And I always thought, why would he take his power and put it in a ring. That doesn't make sense to me. Except for... Um, okay, imagine it this way. Uh, this guy that I'm talking about. Uh, he makes a fortune, or he made a fortune. Um, and so he, he put his personal value. I'm, I'm valuable, I'm wonderful, I'm great, I'm smart. I'm all these things. As much about who he was as possible and put it into this ring. And that ring was... Uh, he made a fortune uh, investing. And, uh, and then everything he did with that money, it wasn't what he did, it was the fact that he could spend that much money. Um, so he wouldn't even allow a little bit of value to become uh, how well-traveled he was or his ability to pilot a boat um, uh, through the ocean from one country to another. Um, that was valueless to him. Uh, what was value, valuable was he had the money to do it. And then uh, when, you know, the economy went all wobbly, um, things drastically changed for him. And then his feelings of self-worth completely changed. Same guy, still had done all those amazing things, um, still, you know, was comfortable, but he wasn't rich anymore. And it was like his, his ring of power was uh, stolen from him. Um, and, and, oh, you know, and actually, I felt a certain amount of empathy for him. It was kind of odd, because I don't know really what that's like, but when I was dealing with him, he actually, he told me that I was, uh, essentially told me I was worthless when I was dealing with him, and, uh, and said it was because of money. He said, because I don't have uh, uh, any money, um, I'm, uh, he's obviously a better person than I am. Um, so it got to the point where like, his sense of value, like as it would diminish, he would focus on people like, well, so I don't have, I, I look to these other people who have money now and that makes me feel terrible. So I look to these people who don't have money now and that will make me feel good. So I guess even like I became his, his new ring of power. Um, he was going to look at me and think, because I'm better than this person, um, things aren't so bad. And, uh, huh.
I don't know. I, maybe maybe I'll just drop it from there for now. And uh, but I'd like to talk more about uh, deception and uh, empathy because uh, I think about it a lot, really. All right. Peace out. I'll see you later.